social engagement system um, is a particular set of cranial nerves that have the same or same location. They're sort of very close together in the brain stem. Which cranial nerves 5, 7, 9, 10, and 11. They control things like um, head gestures. So number 9, I get confused. Number 11, rather, uh, goes to some neck muscles, so nodding and moving, a very important way of communicating. They control the inner ear muscles, so they'll tweak some little muscles around the bows of the ear to make us hear particular sounds. Um, Vocalisation, so the voice box and throat. Uh, they also control uh, jaw muscles. And the vagus nerve controls the heart and breathing. Jaw muscles, face muscles, they control the muscles of facial expression. That's very important. We're constantly looking at people's faces. If the eyebrow moves a fraction of a millimetre, we might trust the person less or more based on that. So we naturally do that all the time. What I want us to do as body workers is to feel the equivalent of a movement of a, an eyebrow and feel ah, this person's a bit more activated or this person's disappearing. There's all sorts of sensations in the whole body, not just in the face. But all of us are experts at face recognition. When you're psychotherapists, you're learning to be experts at body recognition and learning the signs and symptoms. Good. So that's what social engagement does. It controls all these things and if we feel safe, what it will do is it will switch off the more primitive responses. And what's good to understand is a general principle of inhibition within how the nervous system works. The new stuff switches off the old stuff. But the default position is for the old stuff to be switched on. So let's think about that as a tap with a hose and water coming out of the hose. A sympathetic mobilisation response is turned on all the time. That's the basic default pattern. It's really good to be able to run away from things and to be able to do it quite quickly. So these nerves tend to be switched on as a principle. How we control them is we came along with new neurology, and it's a little bit like a, does that look like a boot? So we squeeze down and we inhibit the flow. So our control of the sympathetics is called a vagal break. It's like stepping on the hose to control the amount of water flowing through it. But if we take away the control, if for whatever reason the social engagement system isn't working, it's not inhibiting the system, then the, the sympathetics will take over. So how the body control things is to make the sympath is to make the, the new stuff work better. Social engagement inhibits the sympathetics. But if for whatever reason these nuclei stop working, our sympathetics take over. And this is the most efficient way of down-regulating the sympathetics, is to improve the control from the social engagement system. Yeah. So, looking around, orienting, looking at other faces, slowing the heart down, slowing the breathing down, hearing things um, and looking around for safety. If we do these things well, they will naturally switch off a quick heart rate, switch off the mobilization response. Yep. So, good. So if the social engagement is working, it will switch off Mobilisation. Mobilisation is fight or flight, sympathetics. Fight or flight. The sympathetic response. 
and in turn, mobilization will switch off immobilization. So it's often quite good when people are in a frozen state to get them to move their body. So if we're in um, old Vegas, a good way of if people are feeling stiff, if they begin to freeze, you move their hands. You get them to move their body. You mobilize them out of the immobilization response. Good. But this stuff, being socially engaged, is the best way of um, that ventral vagal complex, is the best way of helping, of being human actually. It switches off all this <coughs> difficult stuff. So how might, how might we do that? Well, how do we stimulate social engagement? Is we feed the social engagement good information. So the big sensory inputs into social engagement are the vagus and the trigeminal. So these are the pathways, these are the sensory information sources that go into the social engagement session and reboot it, make it work better. So the vagus is all that information from the inside of the body. The trigeminal for, for cranial people is around the jaw and all the dural membranes. So this is an explanation for why a bone moving in the skull is going to help us feel safer because it switches on it makes the social engagement system work much better. If this is a little complex for you, I've got a graph after this that should hopefully make it a little bit simpler as well. I hope so. So these are sensory inputs into the social engagement system, all the information from the vagus, all the information from cranial nerve 5, the trigeminal, they will switch off social engagement, they will make sure social engagement works to switch off the fight or flight response, which in turn will switch off the old vagus response. <coughs> 